Hello and welcome to today's session. I am Srishti Goswami and I work as module lead software engineer with Radha. In this session, we will understand and build RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation System and Knowledge Graphs using Gather. Let us understand what is RAG and what are Knowledge Graphs. RAG or Retrieval Augmented Generation combines retrieval based and generation based models to produce contextually relevant and fluent responses by augmenting generation with retrieved information, revolutionizing natural language processing. Knowledge Graphs offer a structured framework to represent and organize complex knowledge and relationships. They help AI systems to understand the context and aid in knowledge discovery by encoding entities, attributes and their interconnections. Hence, knowledge graphs serve as foundational components that enhance the capabilities and performance of AI applications across diverse domains. In this demo use case, we will build REG system and knowledge graph of candidates profile from a collection of resumes in PDF and DOCX formats. The idea is to extract the skills from the resume and model it in a graph format so that it becomes easier to navigate and extract specific information from it. So then we can have an interface where we can query a graph and expect the answer in natural language. In this use case, we will be using Neo4j graph database to store the data related to the profile of candidates. To extract entities from the resumes, we will build an advanced ETL using Gather, which will parse the documents, extract the entities, filter and clean data, and emit the data into Neo4j graph. Let us build the use case. Log in to your Gather account and head towards advanced ETL section. Create a new ETL. This opens the ETL canvas. In this case, data is stored in AWS S3, so search for S3 in the operator panel in the right and select S3 patch. Configure the S3 source. Select data format as binary file and click on next. Select the S3 connection. If not present, create a new one. Select the bucket name and provide the path of the folder containing resume data. Click on next. This action will extract the data and detect the schema of a few files present at the specified location. Here you can verify the data or modify the column names and data types. Click on next and eventually on done. Till now we have read the documents in binary format from S3. Now we will pass the binary data. For this we will add from the transformation section the PDF parser. So search for PDF parser, select it, configure the PDF parser, select the binary output column as the input column, check the base64 encoded checkbox, select Split text by as do not split. The output will be stored as content column. Click on next. Verify the content. Click on next and eventually on done. To extract the entities out of this past data, we will use OpenAI processor provided by Gather. Select OpenAI processor under the analytics section. Create an OpenAI connection and select it. Here we have already created a connection which is available. For the demonstration purpose, we will use pre-saved prompt. We have already saved this as candidate profile builder demo. In OpenAI processor, we can provide system and user prompts. Let us expand this system prompt. Here, we are asking OpenAI to extract the specified fields from the input and return the output in JSON format. We have supplied extensive information regarding the desired output schema and what each field defines. Scrolling down, 
then we have also provided the json structure which clearly explains the nested patterns we require in the output in the user prompt section we have specified the variable content this is a variable that we have mapped with the past input column content in the input section the current prompt uses gpt 3.5 turbo 16k0163 model among the various gather supported models here we have configured max tokens as 1500 temperature 0.9 and under advanced configuration we have configured all values to 0 you may change this as per the requirement now we will define the response and will map the response keys in case of parse as json under the rate control section here we can specify the number of requests and token consumption limit in a minute under the retry section we can specify the number of retries to be made if the mandatory fields are not present or extracted in a response if we want to include previous responses and feed it in the retry then select include previous response to enhance the retry response we can provide additional instructions in the additional user prompt section click on next click on validate this will show the response of top 3 rows configured by default along with additional information like prompt tokens completion tokens and total tokens consumed per record this can help us determine and tune the configurations in the previous screen now click on next verify the data click on next and on done here we can see how elegantly these entities are extracted we can always modify and improve the prompt according to our needs once we are satisfied with the output here the json is expanded as a table for better view we will now embed the data into the neo 4j graph for this search for neo 4j in the operator panel under the targets select for neo 4j attach neo 4j and configure the target select the connection specify the database name here we want to write cipher query so for that we will choose cipher query write mode the cipher query provided here will create a node candidate which will have properties like name contact email etc these values are mapped using the event variable which maps the input field with the property name of the node along with candidate we are creating another node location which is connected via relation located at now in the output field list we will select the fields that we have mapped in the query section click on next click on done in the similar manner we have prepared six more neo 4j targets these specific targets will create nodes connected to candidate node with specific relationships these values were part of the nested output json from the open ai response so we need to first parse these specifically using the json parser then send the data to neo 4j to create nodes like experiences skills education projects etc once this etl is executed successfully it will populate the neo 4j graph with profile data the graph of candidates information looks like this here the node labels in the left section represented in different colors can be identified in the map on the right among these candidates few work at the same company 
hence they are connected with the same company node with relation employed few candidates have worked on multiple projects hence we can see multiple purple nodes connected to a single yellow node which is candidate node similarly multiple green nodes are connected to a single yellow node this represents multiple skills of a particular candidate the straight lines are the relationship types let us see the zoomed out view of this graph these small clusters are nodes related to individual candidates and their related nodes let us expand property of this candidate here we can see another small cluster we have deployed an interface which with help of open ai will enable us to ask questions in english and receive answers in english it internally converts the asked questions into neo 4j compatible cipher query then receives the response from neo 4j and convert it into natural language responses this makes the qn experience like a conversation we are using postman to query the interface here we have asked list of companies and here we have received the list of companies here we have asked another question are there individuals with matching skill sets please share their names and skill see how elegantly we have an answer this is a well formatted answer with the name of the candidate and the skills let us ask another question Here we have asked another question. Craft a company profile for MDocs, outlining the technologies used and ongoing projects with a focus on attracting potential candidates. Here we have a detailed response. Now asking another question. Craft a company profile for Impetus Technologies, outlining the technologies used. and ongoing projects with the focus on attracting potential candidates here we have the well formatted response for impetus technologies and we have the complete profile for it here we have asked another question names of candidates who have worked on the same project related to clickstream so here here we have the names of candidates who were part of the same project clickstream another question are there specific industries or organizations that impetus technologies commonly engages within its projects here we have the answer that's all for this session thank you so much